Okay, we're out here in the bee yard. This one here is for you, Minion. Uh, we're going to do a hive that's got a narrow entrance. Uh, what you're going to end up with is you're going to have your exolic acid vaporizer hive tool. In the kit in which you receive, you're going to get a pry bar like this. You need a roll of tape. This is your oxalic acid and your measuring cup. Half inch copper cap. Okay, I've got a few pieces of wood here that I'm going to use to shim the hive with once I pry it up. I got my smoker. Got a device in which I can time with. Because you want to be able to time it. We've got it on timer. So what I want to do first is I've got my smoker lit. It's going. I want to smoke my bees back. Okay. So I've smoked my bees back good. Now I'm going to take and we got to get the hive body up off of the bottom board. Now this will be the hardest part because they're tight. Let's try just using it as a pry bar. Okay, that pulled my bottom, top board off. I've got everything propolized. There we go. Okay, so I've got the bottom new or super broke loose from the hive so now this bar here you can use it to pry with but what you want to be careful about is you're going to have probably more weight than i do because your hives are fuller so i'm going to put this shim underneath there my hive's still setting pretty level i'll hit this with smoke again that way I'm driving everything back up in there. And what I'm going to do with this tool right here is I've got a scraper on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that back in there a pretty good ways. And I'm going to fill for any kind of burr comb that might be hanging down on the frames. That way you won't have burr comb right underneath your exolic acid vaporizer. Because if it gets hot and melts and drips down in it, it could actually catch fire. So I'm just making sure that I have no burr comb hanging down underneath as I'm scraping along the bottoms of my frames. Now I'll take just a quick look. Everything looks good. I don't feel anything hanging down. Okay. So that's, that's to remove your burr comb. Now take your zillic acid vaporizer get your wire to where to kind of lay flat you want it to be able to lay flat you're going to run this about halfway back in your hive so you want to make sure that it's not hitting anything on the way back so I'm going to place this down here got my measuring spoon I'm going to get one good scoop of Zillic acid, and we'll pour it in my tray. Now, what I do is I actually take and kind of smear this out a little bit, that way it will go to vapor quicker. You've got more surface contact in the heat. So, now we're going to place this in here. What I'm going to do with this tape is I'm actually going to run this along the side to keep the vapor inside the hive along the sides. Now if you got your a large opening this is one thing you won't have to do. So we've got our real large gap taped closed along the side. We've got our zillic acid inside the hive. Okay. Got it spread out. Okay, now what we want to do is hook up your negative or your positive cable first. Okay, you got your timer ready. Well, 
going to hit start and hook this to the battery. Now take your shirt and just block the opening. That way it will hold the vapor inside the hive. So you want to leave that just like that with the battery connections connected for two minutes. Okay, so we're going to just sit and wait. You can see there's all kinds of bees in the air. They're waiting to get in. They say at any given time that about 30% of your bees are out foraging. So what we're hoping is by doing this once a week for three weeks will not only hit the brood cycle, these bees that are out flying around, hopefully we'll catch them as they come and go in between each time we do it. So keeping an eye on the timer, we're at about one minute now. And this should be starting to vaporize. Okay, we're coming up on a minute and a half. Uh, when you're doing this, right now we don't have any wind at all here. So all I can caution you is that if you see vapor, I would recommend you use a, a particle mask. Use your gloves, they recommend long sleeves, uh, but whatever you do, do not breathe the vapor, okay? Okay, we're coming up on two minutes, we're at one minute, fifty-five, six, seven, eight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to release this now, I'm going to take it off the battery. Okay, so now I'll leave that in there for a minute without actually moving it. That allows for what's left in the tray will go to vapor. It's going to give time for the vapor to move up through the hive before I actually open and start allowing air into the hive. Okay, we're at three minutes. So now we should be able to remove this. Now when you remove this towel watch for vapor coming out of the hive because I just I can't stress enough you do not want to breathe the vapor okay we're taking the vaporizer out and as you can see the tray is empty now this is going to be very hot so what I do is I've got a wet rag here that I can kind of lay that in and take some of the heat out that way it'll make it a little quicker for you to go to the next hive but I'm taking and putting that on my vaporizer just to remove the heat. Now be careful because this is very hot. This gets up in the neighborhood of 400 degrees. Okay, I've removed the tape. I'm going to take my pry bar. I'm going to lift my hive with my pry bar to get my shim out of here. And just let it right back down on the hive. Now be real careful when you're doing this. I supplied you with two pieces of wood. You can actually put one on both sides of the hive body, but just be careful when you're lifting it that it don't tilt. So, that's it. That's all there is to it. So, good luck. And if you have any questions, just give me a call.